Okay guys, in this tutorial task will be to handle listing of products, you know, all these subcategories we have. Before we do that, let's fix this listing with ULs uh, because it's kind of ugly. We're gonna use dedicated bootstrap uh, for tables, right? So let's do that in a split of a second, right? So here we don't need UL because this is ugly and also we will delete individual EIs from for loop and up here we are gonna say table okay bootstrap table with dedicated class of course table and it will be stripped so tables table stripped of course when we are working with tables we need to close it down there okay what about head uh, uh, like um, name of column well, we're gonna say T head and here we're gonna have dedicated booster for class, which is T head, but it will be dark, okay? And inside we're gonna have individual row for column name, guys, not for, uh, not for uh, results, dynamic results, but just name of column in results. So TR without any kind of class, we don't need it. And inside I think there will be TH with scope equals column. And guys, if you know that I know these things on top of my mind wrong, uh, you have this in Booster 4 documentation in Stack Overflow all over the place. So you will grab these things from internet and actually we're gonna use it all over the place in our project. Right, so we need to have a specific name to, uh, to a g or a yes, categories in this case, hard coded. Right, uh, after that, we will open T body <coughs> without class, which means that also we need to close it down there, of course, and for loop will be inside. Okay, so what will be in a for loop? Well, we're gonna have individual TDs and we need to close it slash td variable will remain of course that's we that's uh, what we care about and don't forget bootstrap class uh, list group list group item not items item okay guys so yeah let me delete this it's kind of ugly and let me refresh this thing there you go okay that's kind of cool and is it is it the resizable like mobile and stuff uh, I think it is oh yeah we have it okay so that's cool let me resize that okay right so this is kind of ugly between horizontal navigation well of course horizontal navigation and categories uh, we need to have a little bit of space so you can do that with CSS with pure HTML BR I mean whatever you like, I don't care, uh, because I care more about backends than about CSS and frontend stuff. This is the reason why I'm using Booster 4 all, all over the place. Right, so what we can do uh, is in base template, <clears throat> here, we're gonna just add BR. You can mess around with divs with, I don't know, classes, IDs, but I don't care. It's totally up to you. Right, refresh, there you go, okay. So yeah, what about product lists? Well, first let me open editor and in shop, not uh, outside of shop, we're gonna create a product list. Product list, of course that will be HTML file. Let's have it empty for now because we need to create view dedicated for products and it is extremely easy thing to do. Just add here after category, uh, add that you're working with product, product, and then down there create dedicated class. So, product, and keep the pattern here. And actually, I'm gonna copy paste to save a little bit of time. So, product list view is the name of the class, and these things are here. Well, by default, hard coded. So, this name is up to you, and this is what you must type. Okay, our target, model, and not models, and we're gonna target products. And we have that in models.py. Let me confirm that. See, there you go. That's what our target is. Uh, where I 
was. Right. So when you have that, we also need to establish a route in local URLs. And of course we have comma here, which means we can add new stuff. And I'm gonna copy this right here. The path route will be products, products, okay, don't forget slash. And of course we must change this thing right here. It will be product list view. Why? Because we have it in views.py and we have this thing included using this, okay? And of course we must change alias here. Alias in templates will be, well, products without slash. Product, products without slash. I think that's, that's what we need, which means that if I roll to products, <clears throat> I need to see that thing. Oh, I don't see anything because, oh, right. So I need to fulfill a, 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 a template, right? That was stupid. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna copy paste a lot here, probably. Uh, let me let me see what's up. So this thing, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna copy everything in product list, and I'm gonna change appropriate things. We do need base template. We do need block of uh, content. This is generic box that is gonna be fulfilled with that with dynamic stuff. And here, okay, we can have here, and uh, for products. We do have a product name, so we can call it name or product. But we also have another columns from models like title, body and type. So these three columns need to be visible in our report, which means I'm going to copy this down there. So the third, second column will be description because we are following order from models.py from this you know, file. And the third thing will be category. Category. So what about for loop? Well, for page or for X in not category, but product list, product list, we're gonna target those individual things. And they are, they are, they are, well, variables, so I'm gonna copy paste this couple of times. So we need a title, body and type, and that corresponds to these names of uh, columns. What I was about, title, uh, body, body and what else, uh, type, right. Okay, hopefully when I mm, refresh this, oh, right, I do have this problem. Uh, why this thing is happening here? For some stupid reason. I don't know. Let me, let me check. So here I do have these names, but that's stupid. All oh, right, so I don't have TRs. I don't have individual TRs, TR, and I must close it. And now they will be on the same line. So TR and save and uh, yeah. So I need to have those things aligned, aligned, aligned. Why I don't have it? Just a second. Oh, I'm using classes here. I'm using classes and for some reason that will not work. So let me delete these things. And hopefully I'm gonna target what needs to be target, targeted. Oh, right, there you go. Oh, it was not mix. It is completely operational, but it was messed up vertically. So let me check. Okay, I have old Nokia phones and description old Nokia phones. So we're talking about products and not about individual items. And these things are in old cell phones. Right, right, so everything is fine. Everything is fine, but I don't have, I think in categories, TRs. So or yes, categories, I don't have TRs here. Let me see what's happening. 
categories tds oh because i have just one listing i have just one column that's why so basically that means here i can say tr and here i can say tr uh let me check let me check okay yeah that will work but previous thing will also work so who cares let's just delete it okay this will also work fine it's somehow cleaner cool okay let's let's leave it what i was about products products okay that's cool that's cool uh now we need to like have a, a, a link in navigation right so we're working with templates with uh, urls okay okay base template uh what i need to copy paste i need to grab this and put it here and change it to products per oh the oh, products and this thing will be substituted with per or the OTS products. Why? Why? Because there is that thing. In URLs, we do have products as a route, but here we also have alias. Yeah, so that will work. Okay, let me check that one more time. In uh, navigation. Okay, products. When I go to categories, that will work. Our shop, that will work. Categories, product. Categories, product, products, categories, our shop. Okay, that works. Okay, guys. In the next tutorial, we're gonna work with, let me see. We will work with product instances, with individual items that we have to sell. And actually, pretty much we can copy paste this into our new templates. And as you see, gradually, our horizontal number will be fulfilled with all those links. And a little bit later, we're gonna add uh, forms to add new stuff. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna shut up as always. Thank you for watching. Thank you for support and subscription and see you next tutorial